going, kid. Whoa! You're... Dusty Danger, at your service. Uh, there. Good as new, Dusty. Hey! Whoa! Yeah! Perfect, Holly! I get pretty banged up on my treasure hunts. Treasure hunts? Wow! Wahoo! Wahoo! There it is, kid. The mystic muffler of the Magogo tribe. We just have to be very careful. I found it! I found it! Nice work, kid. That was easy. A little too easy. Uh oh. Spoke too soon. This way, kid. Hurry. It sure was, kid. Time to get back to the museum where it belongs. Treasure hunts must be exciting. I was looking for the lost hubcap of gold. Hubcap of gold? Like my hubcaps? Same idea, more gold. It's supposed to be buried around here, or at least according to the legend. Legend? What's a legend? A legend is an old story that's told again and again over time. Thing is, no one's 100% sure if a legend is really true. Sometimes it's just a fun story to tell. Here, take a look at this. This map says that golden hubcap is around here, but I don't know. Some gold is found in our hearts, but other gold rests in the land of parts. Land of parts. The parts yard! I'll bet the lost hubcap of gold is buried in there. I know the parts yard like the back of my horn. I can find it. Kid, I like your style. Use that map. Are you gonna come with me? Your mom's gotta finish my repair work. But listen, you have to make one promise. If the lost hubcap of gold is real, and if you find it, you have to promise to give it to the museum. Cross my wipers. Are you sure this is safe? Sure, I'm sure. We read these clues, and we'll find the lost hubcap. Now, as the group leader, I say... Uh, shouldn't we take a vote for leader? That's more fair. Okay. All in favor of me. I'll bet Biggs can find it. He really knows the outdoors. I'd vote for Biggs, too. But finding treasure was my idea. Yeah, but we voted Biggs leader. Okay. Well, smudge my windshield and call me streaky. Thanks, y'all. Treasure is hidden amidst the dirt. Perhaps the kind soaked with a watery squirt. Hmm. Dirt soaked with a watery squirt. That's mud! To the mud pit! Wahoo! Right. You're the leader, Biggs. So can you lead us to the mud pit? My daddy says these old treasure maps are always trying to trick you. Maybe it just wants us to think we need to go to the mud pit. These old parts are covered in dirt. Boomer, give him a squirt. <laughs> oh, gotta remember to brace my wheels before I go spraying like that. Probably a good idea. Is it the lost hubcap of gold shining like that? Nope, just a plain old normal hubcap. Oh well, I guess we should go home. Hang on, there's a whole bunch of other clues. Treasure gleams and glistens bright. To find it now, follow the light. Hmm. 
I wonder what that means. Look, this hubcap makes a beam of light. It goes to the mud pit. Nah, I think follow the light means we go to where all the headlamps are on the far side of the yard. Headlamp alley? Yeah. Come on, follow your lead. They're going the wrong way. Well, if they won't follow me, I'll have to find the lost hubcap of gold without them. <gasps> there it is! I did it! I found the lost... Rear view mirror of junk. <sighs> Wait! The trail isn't cold yet. There's more light to follow. said, follow the light through the parts pile. Well, all right. <sighs> well, I can't go through it. <sighs> Need some help? Guys, what are you doing here? I thought you went to Headlamp Alley. We were about to, but then we read the next clue. Just as sure as a bird will take flight, Trust your friend, for he is right. So we remembered you wanted to follow the light, and here we are. I guess I wanted to be leader so badly, I forgot the most important thing, sticking together. Well, we're together now. Wahoo! So let's do it! But how? I was wrong about following the light. Anyone have other ideas? Let's put our heads together. Even if the hubcap is over there, we can't go over that wall, or through it. Too bad there's no way to go under. That's it! I know how we can go under, but it'll take all of us together. Okay, let's do it! Far below that tower, or so the legend's told, buried somewhere deep inside the lost hub cap of gold. We'll find it in the sunshine, we'll find it in the cold. Nothing's gonna stop us. Lost our cap of gold. Working as a team is so much fun. Beats working by yourself is just the only one. Helping out each other is what we have to do. Cause finding the treasure takes me and me and me and you. We're never gonna give up. Gotta be brave and bold. Nothing's gonna stop us. to the other side. See what you find, and then we'll pull you out. Sounds like fun. Well, that's why you should go. No, you should get to do it. After all, you're the leader. Maybe so, but a good leader knows whose awesome plan this was. Thanks, Biggs. The hubcap of gold must be in here somewhere. <gasps> Found it! Pull the bird! Pull me in! Pull me in! Okay, Rowdy, you heard him. Cap of gold. But it sure is dirty. No, it's just a plain old hubcap. And what's that gold? My rare special edition gold foiled stamped rally trading card. I was looking for this. My mom must have thrown it out by accident when she cleaned my room. No lost hubcap of gold? What a bummer. All that work, and we didn't find any treasure. Sure we did. This card is a lot cooler than some old hubcap. Besides, look at what the map says. We may not find treasure, and that's too bad. But think of all the fun you'll have had. 
Dusty Danger says sometimes a legend is only a story. Besides, we can always try again. Here, Biggs, this is for you. Your rally card? Well, why? Because if you hadn't been leader, we never would have found it. Thanks, Chuck. This is cool. Bumpers up. Chuck, that's a nice statue. Or is it a sculpture? Huh? It's just a stack of tires, Dahlia. That's the way you're looking at it. But the way I see it, it's art. Hmm. What is art anyway? That's hard to explain, Chuck. But art is about creating something about yourself or the way you feel that can also make the person looking at it think about or feel something. Hi, Dahlia. So, Chuck, an artist uses objects, colors, words, and other things in any bunch of different ways. Almost anything can be art. You just have to take the time to look at it and think about it in a different way than you might normally. That's right. So, Dahlia, are you on your way somewhere for a big gardening project? Yes, but I thought I'd stop here and drop something off for you. Chuck, could you take out what's in my bed, please? Great in here. Thanks, Dahlia. My pleasure. Bye, Chuck. So long. Bye, Holly. Mom, it was nice of Dahlia to give you this, but it's just a truck in a field. It's a painting of a truck in a field. Remember, art says something by whoever made it or to whoever's looking at it. I think the colors are very relaxing. What does the painting say to you or make you feel? Kinda like I want to be outside. I wonder what else is in that field with that truck. Good, and it doesn't have to be a painting. You can make a sculpture or a song or even a collage. Collage? That's when you paste or group together a bunch of things you like or that you feel say something about what you want to say. But like we said, you can make just about anything into art. Mom, have I been making art all along without trying and I didn't even know it? <laughs> if whoever's looking at what you've made looks at it like a piece of art, then maybe, sweetie. Art! Art! Wow! Hey, Mom, if I make some art, Will you put it in the repair center with Dahlia's painting? You know I would, Honey Bumper. Gee, if I've been making art all along without knowing it, imagine what I can do when I try. Guys, guys, guys! Chuck, where have you been? Building a warehouse for all the stuff we make was your idea, remember? I'm sorry, guys, but the warehouse can wait. We've got art to make. Art? Yeah. My mom and Dahlia told me all about it. We just decide what we want to paint, or build, or put together. Stuff that says something about us or how we feel. And ta-da! It's art! <laughs>
don't know what to paint. Maybe the plywood's too big. Okay. Hmm. Huh, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right either. so good, Chuck. I don't know what I want to paint, but it doesn't matter because I can't even get the thing I want to paint on to look right. You'll figure it out, buddy. Working on a collage, Boomer? I'm trying to. These are the things I want to use, but they don't look right together. It's almost like something's missing. Can I help you find it? I don't even know what it is. Hey, Rowdy, what are you painting? A picture of me. Really? I know, it doesn't look anything like me. I keep slipping and sliding whenever I try to put paint on the metal. <sighs> I think we're all having a hard time, pal. Hang in there. You know I will, Chuck. Bumpers up. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> How am I ever going to make a sculpture of a racing truck out of this stuff? <sighs> okay, now we're getting somewhere. Ugh, it's impossible. I just can't make art no matter how hard I try. <gasps> Look out, guys! The whole way! Oh, that was close. At least none of our art projects got ruined. <laughs> they were already pretty much ruined. I mean, I wasn't having any luck making art. Were any of you guys? No, I guess not. Not me. Wow, you guys have really made some amazing art. These are fantastic. Mom, what are you talking about? We totally blew it. I think you might be surprised. Come up here and take a look. Look! All I see are four big messes. Okay, but stop trying to see what you wanted to make. First, see how the metal beams make frames for your things, like paintings? Okay, but what's in those frames isn't at all what we tried to make when we started. Maybe they're even better because they say something about each of you. What do you mean? Handy, what do you love doing more than anything? Working with your tools, right? Yeah. Well, that interesting shape you used your tools to carve tells me how much you like your work. And with the angles and curves, it looks like a star, the sun, and the moon combined. And that makes me think about how you're always ready to work, day or night. Wow! I wasn't trying to carve anything. Just make something to paint on. Boomer, what were you trying to make? A collage, but it's no good, because it isn't about anything. Well, why did you choose these things to put together? Because they're all things I like a lot. Then that's what your collage is about. It tells us what you like. Did you hear that? I made a collage about me. What about me? That's easy, Rowdy. You painted a picture about yourself, didn't you? How did you know? It doesn't look anything like me. If there's one thing you love, it's getting all dirty and messy. And while that painting may not look like you, it's certainly got a lot of you in it. Yeah, and, and I've got a lot of it on me, too. <laughs> what about me, Mom? I wanted to make a sculpture of a racing truck. You did more than that, Honey Bumper. I did? Those pipes and girders look like a racetrack to me, and the barrels are the finish line. And you could imagine that tire being a racing truck speeding around the track. Wow, 
I guess we were trying too hard. We made some neat art that said what we wanted, and even more. But, Mom, we didn't make anything you could put in the repair center. I don't know about that. I brought a camera out here with me, and I thought I might hang photos of your art. Really? But only if the artists will pose with their work. Power and pickup! Boy, will we! Till it's on again. I have an idea. Instead of waiting a whole week, let's go outside and play Wheel Heroes ourselves. Sounds fun. I'll pretend I'm badly. Wheel, Wheel Heroes to the rescue! <laughs> You'll never get away, badly. Oh, yeah? Try and stop me, Zoom Zoomerton. <laughs> that was my evil laugh. What do you think? Not bad. Now, turn yourself in, villain. Never. <laughs> stop right there. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Elmer. Not you. We're just playing Wheel Heroes. Oh, <laughs> you guys are Wheel Heroes fans, huh? Well, you'll never guess who I just ran into. Badly bumpers? You talk to... to him? Yep. In fact, since he was in the area, I told him he ought to drop into the truck stop. Our truck stop? Here? But why would you do that? So he could get one of Holly's famous tune-ups, of course. He's coming by today. Today? Yep. Look out for him. He'll be here soon. Oh, no! Badly Bumpers is the Wheel Hero's worst enemy. He must have tricked Elmer somehow. Who knows what evil plan he might have for the truck stop. What do we do, Chuck? This is our truck stop, guys. It's up to us to save it. What would the Wheel Heroes do? Wait a second. Power and pickup! That's a great idea! We know everything about the Wheel Heroes. We just have to do what they do to keep badly from causing any trouble. Come on, guys. Let's go to the parts yard. Okay, guys. The web dome works. We just lure badly over here, and Handy pulls the crowbar, and... Wemo! Okay, let's test it out. Soku, pretend you're badly bumpers, and you're after Boomer and me. I'm badly bumpers. <laughs> and Handy, as soon as we come through the gate, pull the crowbar. Gotta check. Here we come. Activate web dome. Ugh, activated. Ha, I finally 
trick you, wheel heroes. Your web dome is useless on me. I don't understand what happened. The web dome always works on TV. Why doesn't it work for us? And more importantly, how are we going to catch badly now? <sighs> Don't worry, Boomer. The wheel heroes always have plenty of tricks in their tanks. Follow me to the proving ground. So, badly will chase us, not knowing that he's about to drive right into the wheel wind. Yeah, and they go so fast they create a tornado. And badly gets swept away. Whoosh! Exactly. Let's practice by blowing away those spare tires inside the circle. Wheel heroes, activate wheel wind! Activating! It's not working. No tornado, Chuck. Not even a pleasant breeze. I don't understand. We did it exactly like the wheel heroes do it on television. Why didn't it work? Seems like we've tried every trick that the wheel heroes use. Actually, we haven't tried the freeze beam yet. Red Hot Turbochargers, that's it! The freeze beam always works. I just hope we have enough time to build one before the real Badly gets here. Soku, you go watch for him. You got it, Chuck. The rest of us have to build that freeze beam before Badly gets here. To the parts yard! Guys, guys, Badly's at the diner. Ah, here's the place Elmer was telling me about. Looks nice. Stop right there. We've got you cornered, Badly. Huh? Oh, oh, I get it. You're Zoom Zoomerton and the Wheel Heroes. <laughs> hey, you guys are pretty good. This is no laughing matter. Surrender, or we'll be forced to use the freeze beam. You guys actually built a freeze beam? How does it work? You asked for it, Badly. Activate freeze beam! Activate it! Whoa! It blows cold air and everything. How did you build this? Why isn't he frozen? Candy, is it on full blast? Sure is, and it feels great. <sighs> it's not working! Let's get out of here! Retreat! Hey, wait! <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you! Come back! What? Great! Now it works? Whoa! Are you guys okay? Please don't hurt us badly. Hurt you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Wow! You sure did a pretty good job with this web dome. And the freeze beam wasn't so bad either. I don't get it. I thought you were a bad guy. Why are you being so nice to us? Because I'm not really a bad guy. My name isn't even Badly Bumpers. It's Bob, and I'm just an actor. Do you know what actors do? Sure, they get to be characters in movies and television shows. Well, they don't get to be them. They pretend to be them. Hmm, sort of like when we play police cars and getaway cars. But we're not really police cars. Right, we're pretending, like actors. But if wheel heroes is just pretend, that means all the cool stuff they do, like the web dome, and the wheel wind and the freeze beam all pretend. I know it looks real on TV. That's because they want it to be extra exciting. It is exciting, but somehow it feels better to know that it's all just for fun. <laughs> Especially since it means you're not really a bad guy. Yeah, pretending is fun. And the way you pretended to be the wheel heroes, you could all be excellent actors someday. Now. My friend Elmer said this was a great place for a tune-up. Can you fellas direct me to the repair center? Sure, follow us. 
Wow! Elmer was right! My engine feels great! Thanks, Holly. Do you have to leave so soon, Badly? I mean, Bob? Afraid so. Gotta get back to work. They're expecting me back at the show. But watch out, wheel heroes. I'll get you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <sighs> wow. Who knew I was such a good actor? <laughs> it's Tonka Chuck, Tonka Chuck, yeah. Tonka Chuck, yeah. Okay, so this time I'll tag Boomer. Ooh. Aww. Let's see, who hasn't been it? Hmm. <gasps> Chuck! I was hoping no one had noticed. you is a major emergency, so I'm turning on the speed. Okay? Uh, I'm okay, but I don't think Chuck is. I'm really sorry, Chuck. I didn't mean to hit you. It's okay. Ow. It was an accident. I shouldn't have teased you. And hey, look on the bright side. At least I won't have to clean my room today. Ow. I tagged you too hard. Don't worry about it, amigo. Hard playing trucks get hurt sometimes. Nobody blames you. Come on, let's get Chuck to the repair center. His mom will know what to do. This is uh, kind of cool. I feel like I'm in a parade. And now, the Grand Marshal of this year's Truck Parade, the one, the only, Chuck the Dump Truck! Mom! You ready to clean your room, Chuck? Oh. Uh-oh. Looks like you got a little banged up. Does it hurt? Just a little, Mom. I got bumped playing tag. It's my fault. I ran into him. I was going way too fast. I'm sure it was an accident. This is just a little dent. I'll patch Chuck up and he'll be better in no time. No time? <laughs> well, not exactly no time. He'll need a day or so to rest up. Check in tomorrow. Thanks for bringing Chuck in. Now you go out and have fun while he rests. Yes, ma'am. Gracias. You better. Come on, Boomer. OK. See you, Chuck. I wish there was something I could do for Chuck. <gasps> I've got it. Where are you going? I'll catch up with you guys later. Got it, Chuck. Hey, Boomer, you've got what? I can make you feel better. My mom said that time would make me feel better. Sure, a little time and a lot of help from your buddy. I'm gonna be right there for you until you're healed. 
I'll do your chores, fetch your toys, and deliver messages. In fact, I'm gonna start right now. Are you too warm? I'll fan you. Thanks for the offer, Boomer. But I don't think I need the help. Look, I'm fine. Ow! You don't look fine. I guess you're right. Maybe I could use some help, but only for a little while. Hey, okay. This'll be fun. Now, just move that pile by the gas tanks to under the counter. That pile? You've got it. I help my dad with deliveries every week. I thought that was your job. It is, but until I get better, Boomer said he'd help me out. You look a lot better since yesterday. It still hurts? Ow! Yeah, it sure does. It's good of Boomer to help. I'm gonna help too. Hey, Boomer, save some for me. No thanks. For as long as Chuck's hurt, this is my job. Ugh. Okay, but call if you need help. Hmm, Digger, do you think you could help me with something? Digger at your service. You just need to get a scoop of dirt to fill in the hole and then we'll patch it up with cement. Job. Now for the... Oh, no, we're all out of cement. Chuck, can you get two bags of cement from your mom? Sure, Dad. Did you get that, Boomer? Got it. Relaxing day, huh, guys? Maybe for you, but the rest of us are busy helping your dad. Not to mention that Boomer is working twice as hard as any of us just to take care of you. Are you feeling better yet? Your dent is almost healed. I know it hurt when it happened. Now? Now, don't you think you can start taking care of yourself? I don't know. Boomer said I need to be 100% better, and I'm not. If Boomer wants to keep helping, I think I should let him. Ow! I'd better go rest. I think I'm gonna have a talk with Boomer. Hey, let me help! <sighs> Thank you. That was heavy. You know, Chuck's much better. You probably don't need to help him so much. You look cansado, tired. I am tired, but I hit Chuck really hard. If he needs extra help, I'm gonna give it to him. In fact, I'd better go see how he is. Can you bring that cement to Chuck's dad? Sure, amigo, but take it easy. He doesn't believe Chuck is better, so we have to prove it. All dry, boys. Does anyone want to help me paint new lines? See. Si. Okay. Sure. How about it, Chuck? Well... You don't need to keep up with us. Just do a little. No, Chuck's still hurt. You are, Chuck? I thought for sure you'd be back at full speed by now. Almost, Dad. Won't be too much longer. It's okay. I'll paint Chuck's part for him. Good job, boys. Thanks for helping. De nada. I better get back to the diner. See you, boys. And I'd better go check on Chuck. I know Bang Ups and I know Chuck. He should be A-OK -okay by now. He's usually so tough. We need to get the old Chuck back pronto. Hey, nothing gets Chuck moving like a race on a track. Chuck, come on! I would, but Chuck still needs me. I'll probably be okay until you get back. Go ahead. Okay. You too, Chuck. If I can race, then I have to clean my room. I think I better just watch. Boomer, watch the track, buddy. What? Hee <laughs> hee, bueno!
Oh, well, thanks, Chuck. So, uh, I guess you're feeling okay? Uh, actually, I've been feeling better for a while. But as long as I was hurt, I didn't have to clean my room. Plus, you took such good care of me. I'm really sorry. Is there any way I can make it up to you? Well, I am really tired. And that skid was kind of scary. And I... I know! For the rest of the day, I'll take care of you. But I'll have to start after I clean my room. Will you be okay until then? I think I'll be all right. Okay, stay there. Guys, don't let him move. I'll be right back. Watch where you're going, Chuck. We don't want to go through this all over again. <laughs> <laughs> to my little brother, Chuck. <gasps> I'll tell you, winning the Big Time 500 is a big achievement. It's like climbing the highest mountain and finally reaching the peak. trophy like that. Maybe you can, but you need to work hard and practice like Rally. I'll practice every day, Dad. But right now, I'm going to tell my friends the great news. Yahoo! <laughs> and then Rally slid into the inside lane. Run! And then slid to the outside and run! won the race. <laughs> Rowdy, I was afraid he wouldn't find me in there. <laughs> oh, Chuck, you know I can find anything anywhere. So what did Rally get for winning the race? That's the best part. He got a huge shiny trophy. You could fit inside of it, Rowdy. <gasps> really? It sure would be great to win a trophy. I'd never won anything before. We're still pequeño, still small, Rowdy. Someday, we'll have a chance to win a trophy like Rally. I wish we didn't have to wait. Maybe we don't have to. Power and pickups! How about we build our own trophy? <laughs> Great idea! Let's do it! Everybody, I have the perfect spot for it in the diner. What? But I was thinking I could bring it back to my house. No, no, I have the perfect place for it in my room. Me too. But there's only one trophy. Who gets to keep it? Well, they give trophies to the one who's the best. Like Rally was the best racer when he won the Big Time 500. We could have a race too. The winner gets the trophy. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah! Okay, partners. Mark, get set, go! Thanks, Rowdy. Well, since I'm the best, it looks like I get to take home the trophy. <sighs> Un momento, Chuck. You were the best on the paved track. But what about other kinds of races? After all, I was built to roll over bumpy stuff. I say we race again, this time around the hills of the parts yard. But, but... It's only fair, Chuck. <sighs> to the parts yard! 
On your mark, get set. Vamanos! I can't take control of. Ow! My steering aid! Whoa! I'm about yet! Fall over! Ah! Ah! Look, look out! Uh oh! Clean up on aisle five! Hasta la vista! <laughs> Get the trophy. <sighs> Not so fast. You want to race, and I want to race. We're even. And actually, neither of those races were fair. I'm plenty fast, but with my tires, I'm better at going around and under and over things. There were no obstacles in those races. Fine. One more race. We'll build an obstacle course on the dirt track. Let's go. <laughs> Oh. You all ready? Get yourself set and wahoo! Yeah. I guess I'm the best, y'all. I'm coming! I'll be right there! Want to race? My race was the real race. I think mine was. Guys, we all won the race we were good at. To find out who's best, we need to have one more race. One that has obstacles, bumps, and paved track. Right, Rowdy? Uh, Rowdy? Over here! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I guess I'm just not very good at obstacles either. That's okay. We're still going to have one more race to find out once and for all who's the best. I don't know, Chuck. I didn't win any of the other races. In fact, I came in last every one. You can't give up, Rowdy. My dad says the only way to get good is to work hard and practice. I do work hard and I practice a lot, but I'm no good at obstacles, no good at speed. You guys run the last race, I'll just watch. No, come on, Rowdy. It's more fun if you race, too. Yeah, it's not the same without you, Rowdy. Yeah, totally. Totally. You gotta race. No, that's okay. I'll see you when you're done. Well, if you're sure. Okay, guys, let's set up the course. One lap around the proving grounds, one lap around the obstacle at the dirt track, and then a final lap around the parts yard where the best racer gets the trophy. On your mark, get set, go! gets to keep it, I guess. You know, maybe we care too much about that trophy. What do you mean, Chuck? Well, I wanted to be the best so badly that I cut you off, Digger. Biggs, I drove past you when you needed help. That's not how a friend acts. I'm sorry. Well, I guess we all did some things that weren't real nice. I bumped into you and Digger because I wanted to beat you all, too. Sorry, fellas. We were so determined to beat each other that we stop treating our friends, well, like friends. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Rowdy. Look, guys, 
I guess we proved that nobody is the very best and that all three of us were good at something. Maybe we're better off without the trophy. Here's your trophy, guys. Huh? Rowdy! You found it! You guys deserve it. Each of you is good at racing. <sighs> I wish I was good at something. Rowdy, you are great at something. Me? But I, I lost every race. Yeah, but you found the trophy. No one else could have done what you did, Rowdy. You're the best. I... I am? Da 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 da! I hereby award this trophy to... Rowdy! For being the best at finding things. Yay! Oh, oh, shucks, guys. <laughs> I'm honored. You deserve it, Rowdy. Hey, I have an idea. Let's split into teams and play hide and seek. As long as I'm on Rowdy's team, he's the best seeker. I was going to be on Rowdy's team. No, me! No, me! It's Tonka Chuck, Tonka Chuck, yeah! Tonka Chuck, yeah! It's Chuck and Friends! It's Tonka Chuck, Tonka Chuck, yeah! Tonka Chuck, yeah! It's Chuck and Friends! Let's go over, round and through! There's a truckload of things to go and see and do! Engine at the ready, we'll do it all! Revving up together, friends for the long haul! KKHY coming to you live over a very big traffic jam on the main road. It's going to be hard to get where you're going today, folks. Wherever I look, all I can see is bumper to bumper traffic. So that's why business is so slow today. You mean our customers can't get past that traffic jam? Exactly. If I could only figure out a way to eliminate all traffic jams, I'd be a genius. And business would never be slow. Eliminate all traffic jams. Hmm. <sighs> Stuck in traffic again. Which is perfect. I can finally try out my new invention. The Unjammer. Yippee! It works. My Unjammer works perfectly. <laughs> to work out a few of the kinks. It's time for our KKHY quiz contest. Hey, would you listeners like to win a thrilling ride in the sky with me? Red Hot Turbo Chargers. A helicopter ride would be so cool. Well, that's the grand prize for whoever can answer this question. What reflects light and shines down bright, but only shows its face at night? Hmm. What reflects light and shines down bright? but only shows its face at night. Wait! Powered pickups! Dad! Dad, I know the answer! There can be only one winner, folks. The first to call in with the correct answer gets the prize. You have 30 minutes, starting now. Oh, no! Dad, the diner phone is out of order. What do I do? What do I do? Relax, Chuck. Just run over to the repair shop and call the station on your mom's phone. I have a better idea. I'll run over to the repair shop and call the station on Mom's phone. Can't stop! There's, There's a, a contest, contest on the radio! radio. <laughs> I guess we both heard Deli Copter's quiz question, and I think I know the answer. <laughs> Me too! I was just going to use the phone in the diner to call in. That phone's out of order. I was headed to the repair shop to use the other one. We could call in together. Yeah, but there's only one prize. Which means whoever gets to the repair shop phone first will we'll win the contest. Only 25 minutes left to call in with the answer to this question. What reflects light and shines down bright, but only shows its face at night? Oh, hi, Chuck. Hi, Han. There's the phone. Excuse us, please. Sorry, Mom. We were both trying to get to the phone, and I guess we tried a little too hard. That's okay, boys. I can fix it. 
But I need a replacement capacitor, and I don't have one in the shop. I bet I can find a replacement capacitor at the parts yard. Not if I find it first. Can't stop! There's, There's a, a contest, contest on, on the, the radio! radio. <sighs> you know the answer too, Digger? See, si, I was going into the repair shop to phone it in. Well, it's too late. We accidentally broke the phone. So we're going to the parts yard to find a replacement capacitor so my mom can fix it. Oh, yeah? I bet I can dig one up before either of you do. Can't stop! There's a contest on the radio! We, we know, know, we know. know. We all think we have the answer to the contest, Rowdy. But the phone at the repair shop is broken. If we can find a replacement capacitor, we can fix it. Capacitor, huh? I remember seeing some capacitors in the parts pile all the way on the other side of... Hey, no fair! Huh? What's going on? Sorry, amigo, but I really want that helicopter ride. Hey, you're in my way! No, you're in my way! <laughs> Thanks, guys! Digger's almost on the other side. Come on! Hi, they're catching up. I can't let them pass me. Whoa! Watch out! Ah! Can't stop me, Digger! But I can't let those others catch up. A lot of capacitors! There's enough for all of us! I guess it's a race to see who can get back to the repair shop first! Only 12 minutes left, and still nobody has called in with the right answer. Remember, the question is, what reflects light and shines down bright, but only shows its face at night? Will anyone come up with the right answer and call in? I win! Hmm. Oh, darn! We lost! Okay, Mom, here's the capacitor. As soon as you fix the phone, I can call in and win the prize. This will work fine. Now just give me about 20 minutes and I'll fix the phone to be as good as new. <gasps> 20, 20 minutes? You have 10 minutes left to answer the question correctly. Oh, no! By the time you're finished, it will be too late. Hmm. I was so excited to see what it's like to ride in a helicopter. Now, I'll never know. Sorry, Chuck, but I'm kind of glad the contest is over. Now I don't have to compete against my friends anymore. Yeah, now that I think about it, I'm really sorry I tossed those hubcaps in your way, guys. I just wanted to win the prize so badly. Yo también. That's why I rolled up that sheet metal to stop you all. That's no way to treat my amigos. I guess we all wanted to win the prize so badly, we weren't very nice to each other. We work better when we work together. And there's a built-in prize when we work together. The great feeling we get when we finish something with teamwork. Teamwork, huh? Wait a second. Now we're in pickups. I have an idea. There's another way to get the answer to Delhi Copter. We can use the stuff we knocked over in the parts yard. But we'd have to all work together to pull it off in time. I say we do it! See, si, just winning the contest will be great for all of us. Right, we can decide who gets the helicopter ride after we win. folks, and still nobody has called in with the right answer. And only 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, Ready, seven, guys? six, Turn on your five, headlights. 
four. Huh? Wait a second, I think we may have a winner here. What reflects light and shines down bright, but only shows its face at night? The moon, that is correct. Congratulations to, um, uh, well, uh, I don't know who the winner is yet. Guess I'll have to land and find out. Guys, I'm here to give the winner his prize, a helicopter trip with me. So, which one of you came up with the right answer? Well, we all knew the answer. Yeah, but the phones were all broken. So we worked together to build this sculpture. What a creative solution. I am impressed. It was Chuck's idea. Maybe he should get the prize. I couldn't do that, guys. We all worked together to win the contest. I didn't earn the prize alone. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. We're all just happy we won the contest. Well, you guys are one pretty amazing team, not one selfish banana in a bunch. Uh, we're not bananas, we're trucks. <laughs> what I mean is I like your teamwork. So I'll tell you what, you all get a ride with me, one at a time. Power and pickups. So we can share the prize after all? Our teamwork paid off. Yeah! <laughs> I. but now we have a new problem. What's that, Digger? Who should go first? <laughs> it's Tonka Chuck, Tonka Chuck, yeah. Tonka Chuck, yeah, it's Chuck and friends. It's Tonka Chuck, Tonka Chuck, yeah. Mixer Mike, don't you? He's passing through on the way to a construction site. Hello. Building a fort, huh? You need to overlap the blocks, not just stack them one upon the other. Then they won't fall. See? Yeah. Because they're all tucked into each other. Red Hot Turbo Chargers. So that's how you do it. Wow. How do you know so much about building things? Well, I help build things every day. Boy, you should see some of the stuff I've built. Winding roads, gigantic bridges, and buildings. Great big buildings. Whoa. That's the final mile of the longest road in the world. Much sturdier play for it. Red Hot Turbo Chargers! Look at this! This is so cool! Thanks, Mixer Mike! My pleasure, Chuck. Well, Holly, I better skedaddle. I got some work to squeeze in before that big storm hits tonight. I'll see you on your way. Whoa! I can't wait to tell Boomer and the gang about this. I wonder what else we could build. Whoa! Chuck! Your fort is in a very busy area. <laughs> well, this seems a shame to take it down. It's actually a pretty good fort. Oh, cool. 
Me too. Watch me roll this road flat like a steamroller. You're just snoring. What kind of construction sound is that? See, because I'm a dozer. Get it? A bulldozer? Because I'm sleeping? <sighs> no? Come on. What are we building, Chuck? I don't know. Uh, how about an amusement park with a roller coaster and a merry-go-round? And, and, and a slide. An awesome slide. Hey, Chuck, look what we made. Digger scooped up some dirt, and I wet it with my hose to make mud. Mud is easier to shape into stuff. That's great. It's like a mini version of the board I just built by the diner. Too bad it's so small. I want to really play in it. Yeah, I wish we could build something big. Maybe even something with an awesome slide. Red Hot Turbo Chargers, I've got an idea. We can build something big. I don't know, Chuck. Real construction trucks have cement and bricks and real building parts to make things out of. Well, we've got tons of spare parts in the parts yard and all the mud we can make. I'm sure together we can build a big play fort. With doors and windows and a slide. Don't forget the slide. Not just any play fort, but the best play fort in the world. Amazing Fort, Fort Chuck. Fort Chuck! Yay! <laughs> nice work, everybody! Bumpers up! Friends for the long haul! And tomorrow, we can build more onto it. A bigger slide. Maybe even a tire swing. And a drawbridge. And a moat. And a playground. And a We might even build a second floor. Or a swimming pool. Or how about a skating? Chuck, it's bedtime. Go to sleep. Sorry. Night, Mom. Night, Dad. Good night, Chuck. Good night, Chuck. Yahoo! Chuck, wait, you haven't even had breakfast yet. Can't waste time with breakfast, Mom. I have this great idea to build a helicopter pad at the top of the fort. You know, just in case one needs to land. Helicopter pad. What? What happened? Hey, Chuck. Can't wait to play in Fort Chuck. Huh? It, it was the best fort ever. We had such great plans. We can rebuild it, right, Chuck? Chuck. What should we do? What's the point? It'll only fall apart again the next time it rains. We could build a better one. No, it was so perfect the way it was. How could we ever build a fort so great again? <sighs> Where are you going, Chuck? Home. At least
least my crate fort can't get destroyed by rain. We'll play there tomorrow. See you guys. Huh? My crate fort? That's gone too? Oh, Chuck, I'm sorry, but I had to take apart your crate fort. It was in the way of the customers. Oh. <sighs> it sure is hard to have fun when things keep changing all the time. Now, hold on just a second, Chuck. Yes, yeah, sometimes things change, but maybe it's not as bad a change as you think. Follow me, son. You see, sometimes when things change, you can find a bright side. Bright side? Huh. Well, Fort Chuck was ruined in the rain last night, Dad. What's the bright side of that? I don't know yet, but... I have a feeling you'll find a bright side to it. Wait a second. Dad, I just got an awesome idea. But we've got to take down the crate fort. Take down the crate fort? But Chuck... I need the crates, Dad, for the bright side. Oh, remember when I tried to go into Fort Chuck using Soku's entrance? <laughs> yeah, you were too big, so you got stuck. <laughs> I wonder if we'll ever have that much fun again. Oh. Geronimo! Hey! Wow! That looks fun! I feel a lot better, guys. How come? Aren't you still upset that Fort Chuck is gone? Well, sure. We had a terrific fort, and maybe someday we can build another one. But sometimes, when things change, you can find a bright side. I'll show you what I mean. I've got four more crates at the top of the hill we can use for sledding. I hereby name this new hill Mount Chuck. <laughs> it's the best mud hill in the world. And a pretty good slide, too. Yippee! <laughs> Just like him. Me too. Hey, why do I have to wait to grow up? Why can't I be like Truck Atomic right now? Chuck, you can't do that stuff. You don't have what it takes. Why not? What does it take? Why, I, I, uh, well, well, for one thing, you don't even have a cool costume like Truck Atomic does. You can't be a superhero without a cool costume. <gasps> of course, that's exactly what I need. And this. Oh, yeah. And this. And that should do it. Oh, oh. 
Are you okay? Let me help you with a ladder. No, stay back. If you touch me, I might lose my balance and fall into that icky mud. Hey, what's so bad about that? Is there a problem? It is I, Chuck Atomic. Chuck a who? And just what do you think you're doing, partner? My job is to help and do good things. So I shall rescue Soku. Hey. to thank me. I'm just doing my job as dum dee dum 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 Chuck Atomic! But before I leave, I must do one important thing. Help me out of this mud? Look! Chuck Atomic left his sign! dum dee dum 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 I hope Chuck Atomic doesn't stick around too long. Having our very own superhero around? How could that be bad? Okay, having our own superhero around has been pretty bad. I know. Just the other day, I was helping his dad move some parts. Suddenly, Chuck Atomic showed up. Need some help? Uh, no, wait, Chuck Atomic. I don't need that many parts. No need to thank me. Chuck Atomic will be here to help for the long haul. Dum dee dum dum dum. Ay caramba! The same thing happened to me when I was making a new dip for the dirt track. That should be all the dirt you need to fill that hole, citizen. Me too! I got my arm stuck in a cylinder when... Ah! Have no fear! Truck Atomic is here! It's okay! I can handle it! My work here is done! Dum dee dum dum dum! to do the right thing, but Chuck Atomic is causing more trouble than he's solving. Well, my clever plan is gonna bring back the old Chuck once and for all. If we give him too many problems to solve, especially boring ones, he won't want to be Chuck Atomic anymore. Are you sure it's gonna work? It better, or else Chuck Atomic will be helping us out forever. Anybody here want that? No! no. Okay then, everybody go to your places. Operation No More Help from Chuck Atomic starts right now. <laughs> help, Chuck Atomic, help! Uh oh, that sounds like a job for dum dee dum 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 Chuck Atomic. <laughs> I need help crossing the road. But why do you need my help? I'm nervous that a truck might zoom by real fast and bump into me. Boomer, nobody ever uses this road. And this isn't the kind of help I usually give, but... Never mind. Let's go. Thanks, Chuck Atomic. No problem. Help, Chuck Atomic! Help! Uh-oh! This sounds like a real emergency! <sighs> How may I help you? Uh, would you get the door for me, please? What? You're here to help, right? I need somebody to help me with the door. emergency is serious. Can you help me fill my tires with air? 
But, but... Help, Chuck Atomic! Help! <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. No, you don't have anything stuck in your grill. Help! Chuck Atomic! Help! You need what? Remind me how that Chuck Atomic music goes, partner. It sure is pretty. idea. Most of these problems don't need a superhero to fix them. And it seems like just having a superhero around makes everybody stop helping themselves. And that doesn't help anybody. Our plan seems to be working. I think Chuck's getting tired. The last time he made his Chuck Atomic sign, it just ended up looking like a squiggly. Good. The sooner he gets tired of being Chuck Atomic, the sooner he'll go back to being regular old Chuck. The truck we like. Okay, now let's call Chuck Atomic to help us lift this girder for our new clubhouse. Yeah, he'll think that's boring. <laughs> I'd forgotten how good it felt to just be me. Help! Those guys. You can stop now. I've quit being Chuck Atomic and gone back to plain old Chuck and... <laughs> Yikes! This is a real emergency! Okay, guys, I'm going to need your help so that I can help you. Handy, toss me a line. Boomer, tie one end to that girder. Then the rest of you push when I say. Everybody push! <laughs> Chuck Atomic, you saved us for real this time. No, that was just me, plain old Chuck. It's a lot more fun to be me than a superhero. Well, as long as you're ready to lend a helping hand when we need one, you'll always be a superhero to us, partner. Bumpers up! Friends, Friends for the law! Who wants to go play Bumper Blitz? <laughs> So if I say, I spy something that begins with S, you might guess sun or spark plug. Whatever's around that starts with S. I spy something that begins with R. Er. Hmm. What could Chuck see that starts with an R? Rockstar, look! Wow! Hi, sir. What's happening, mini machines? Excuse me, but are you a rock star playing super cool music at concerts all over the world? Oh, not me, little dude. But I've got a lot of pals who are. Johnny Cool! Hey, Porter! You know my dad? Are you kidding? Your pops could sure honk a mean horn in his day. Johnny's been stopping here for years. He carries the musical instruments for concerts. Trucks scream and cheer when they hear that music coming from the stage. I tell ya, there's nothing in the world like rock and roll. All bands start somewhere, dude. Yeah, Boomer, dude. 
Okay, let's try it. I've got you set up for a rest inside, Johnny. Most excellent! Rock on! Dad, we're gonna be a rock band. Johnny Cool said every band starts somewhere, and we're starting right here, right now. But we can't be a band and go play concerts until we have a name. The Heavy Haulers! The Sirens! Trackalicious! You need a little more than a name to be a band, guys. You need to know how to play a song. Tell you what, if you work really hard and learn how to play a song, you can have your first concert tonight at the diner. Here? Really? Awesome! Come on, guys, let's rock! gonna be so cool. Candy, you'll play guitar. Yeah! Boomer, you'll play the drums. Rock it! And Soku, you'll play keyboard. I'll make up the words and be the singer. Okay, let's practice. Hold on, Chuck. I was thinking we'd be a different kind of band, that we could all sing and dance together. I thought that too, Chuck. That's the kind of music I like. But what about rock and roll and... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I want a band that really moves and twists and turns and mega grooves. Yeah, with lights and smoke and all kinds of stuff. I kind of like Chuck's idea. Oh, <laughs> maybe we could use both ideas. But you can't dance to his music. And his music doesn't... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay if you don't want to be in my band, Soku. No, it's okay if you don't want to be in my band. Come on, Handy. We'll dance until our tires smoke. Boomer, let's go make some real rock and roll. <laughs> yeah! Uh, Chuck? Chuck? Chuck! Sorry. Uh, what? You have to sing. After I start to drum, it's your turn. I know, I know. I'm trying to think of words for this song. What rhymes with orange? Um, Soku could think of something. He's great at rhyming. But he doesn't want to write the kind of song I like. He wants the song that he can dance to. Aw, look at them. Their dance is much better than our song. Come on, we have to keep working. Good, now we weave around each other in a figure eight. I don't think we're ready for a figure eight. We have to do one. This is going to be the best dance ever. Whoa! Oh, yay! Maybe we should take a break from dancing and try some singing so we can learn how to sing in harmony. Uh, we can figure out the singing later. Let's go back to dancing. That's what'll make us great. all day, every night and day, and I start each brand new day, saying I'm gonna rock today. What do you think? Well, uh, day definitely rhymes with day, but maybe you should think of some other rhyming words, too. Yeah, good idea. I'll find a better rhyme if I give it a little more thought. I know, I'll just leave you alone for a little bit so you can think. Soku? Yes, Handy? I think we should practice the dance by ourselves for a little while. I was going to say the same thing. With a little more practice, you'll start to get it. Right. <gasps> Boomer? I thought you were practicing your song with Chuck. Chuck's song is, uh, um, tricky. So is Soku's dance. I know. If we work together, we'd have a great dance and a great song. I think so, too. Plus, it would be a whole lot more fun if we remind Chuck that Soku is really good with words. And if we remind Soku that with the way Chuck moves when he's racing, he's got to be a great dancer. Then we'd have so much more fun playing together. Let's go. I've got new words for this song, but I need to find something that rhymes with my big brother, Rally. 
How about Soku's my good pal E? That's not really a word. And you're trying to tell me I should team up with Soku again, aren't you? Well, it does seem like you need help writing a song, and he could give it to you. You know what? You're right. Now up and back and up and back and spin. <sighs> I wish we could spin like Chuck. If he were here helping us, this would be a snap. Chuck does have that cool spin. You know what? You're right. I, I think, think we, we should, should get, get the, the old band, band back, back together. So, how's, how's your band, band going? going? Terrible. We need you to help us look good dancing. And? And we need your help with the words to our song. And? And we should all be four friends together in a band. Because it's not fun if we're not together. Finally. Now let's go practice. Working together. And it is just so much better. When it's you and your best friends, friends, friends forever. We tried it on our own. But there's just no place to go. Not if you don't have your best Together. Bumpers up! Friends for the long haul! Hey, you guys totally blew the roof off. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Woo! All you need to do now is practice. All day, every day. Practice, practice, practice. Well, it was cool meeting you dudes. Maybe I'll see you on the big stage someday. Later. Boys, that was amazing. We can't wait to hear what song you come up with next. What's wrong, guys? We worked so hard on our song all day that we didn't get to play. Yeah, making music is fun, but it's not the only thing we want to do. Well, you can always come back to music and try it again if you think you'd have a good time. You don't have to decide to do anything forever right now. Except having fun and hang out together. Now those are some rocking ideas. Come on, guys. Oh, oh yeah! yeah! It's all fine, Chuck. Boomer just met Salty Saul. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you, Boomer. Uh, same here, Mr. Saul. Uh, Mr. Salty? Um, sir? Is Salty Saul a pirate, Chuck? Nah, he hauls boats to the coast. He always has the most amazing stories about the sea. Thanks, Porter. The tarp came in handy for that boat hole, so it did. It was raining very hard. 
Was it a safe boat launch? It was a fine launch, but I don't know how she'll fare, what with the monster waves and all. How high were the waves? The waves were high. Higher than ten trucks, so they were in that ocean blue. Oh! <gasps> Iceberg ahead! Oh no! I'll take care of it! It's what a good captain does. Now, let's set sail for more adventures. I love to stay, but I have to go and pick up a yacht that I do. It has big plans to sail around the world. That's part of why I like boats. It takes big dreams and a big imagination to be a sailor. Whoa. Bye, Salty Soul. Bye, Salty Soul. Bye, Mr. Salty. Let's build our own boat and go sailing on the high seas. Yeah. Uh, not too high, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, my salty crew. I'm Captain Chuck, and we're going to sail the high seas discover new lands, and have lots of adventures! Yeah. Well, carve my treads and call me Groovy. I want to find a land with lots of space and hills to race on. Do you think we'll see some sea monsters? Some nice ones, maybe? Oh, I hope I don't get seasick. One thing's for sure. Nothing's gonna happen unless we do one thing. What's that? Build a boat. <laughs> You're right. Let's find things in the parts yard that can make a ship. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! Boats, boats, boats. Hmm. Yes! Nice one. Thanks. It'll steer our boat. One sail coming right up. This can be the part of the boat we stand on. You need help, amigo? I sure do. Now that's handy. I can't wait to show everyone. Close one. the best boat I've ever seen! See? There's something missing. That's great, Biggs! Just what our boat needed. Hmm. It needs something else. Some horns? No, a name. The SS Hubcap? How about the Jolly Scooper? Or the rusty tub. I've got it. Salty Saul told me once that all boats are named after women. Let's call our boat the Mom. Muy excelente. All aboard. Let's set sail. Yay! Andale. Let's go. Shouldn't our boat be moving? We need water to make an ocean blue, so our boat can set sail. If you want water, then step back. We'll be sailing on the ocean blue in no time. Thanks, Boomer. Okay, crew, what do we yell when we spot new land? Um, hey, there's some new land. <laughs> no, sailors say, land ho! Hey, is that new land up ahead? Land ho! <laughs> Captain Chuck, we're still not moving. But I sprayed a lot of water. I guess since the ground is flat and there's nothing to hold the water, 
It just ran off. Then we need something to hold the water. And I know what to do. What? We need to dig a big pit to hold our ocean blue. Then what are we waiting for? Let's dig. That's a great pit. All that's missing is our boat. And a lot of water. Stand back. Come on, crew. Let's get the boat into the pit. Ugh, all done. I can help. I think I should be first. Okay, but I'm second. I'm third. Um, should the boat tip like that? Well, fill my bed and call me hefty. The boat must be too heavy. The mom is sinking, and we haven't even sailed her yet. We can't let her sink. <laughs> I need some backup crew. Aye, aye. What about fake water? There's no such thing. That's a great idea, Handy. I know where to get some fake water. Whoa there, Chuck. Sorry, Dad. We can't use water, but we have a boat and... Can we borrow that? I'm not sure I understand why you need it, but sure. Thanks, Dad. Once we get her sailing, you can come aboard. Yes, you too, Gunter. I've got our ocean blue. But that's just a plastic sheet. I'll show you. It isn't water, but it's blue. And we can pretend it's our ocean blue. Ahoy, mateys! It looks like our boat is setting sail without us. We just have to imagine the ocean blue. Like when we play police cars and getaway cars, we're not really police cars, we just pretend. Let's pretend our boat is sailing on a real ocean blue. Oh, uh, can we pretend our boat can fly? Sure. Can it be a tool boat that fixes other boats? Why not? It can do anything we imagine. I imagine this boat is a submarine. Red hot turbochargers. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Woohoo! Awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Steering a boat is a lot of work. I think I'll cool off and swim in the ocean. Splash. Come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> 